you know, one of the greatest wish and dream and desire and want that I have in life is like our, I would say the greatest, I would say the greatest would be for me to be Jesus over and 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 over again and love him like I used to pull my love on him and receive his love. But that's, I would say that's the greatest. But I would say after that, it's to be transformed into his image, which is to be transformed into the image of love. I'm not here on earth to be necessarily successful and be happy and be blessed. Those things are good. But the greatest desire for me and maybe many of you is to be transformed into his image, which is love. One of the greatest desire next to that for me, which became my agony is to see people being transformed into the image of Christ, into the image of love, right? People means neighbor, neighborhood, city, state, country, different countries. I'm from Iran, Iranian, Western culture, Eastern culture. Um, all the believers of Jesus Christ all around the world, we have two billion, to be transformed into the, His image. And I have walked with Jesus for the last 22 years almost 23 years coming up. I haven't seen that happening yet. I have seen some transformation in myself, some which is connected to me letting go of things. And I have seen some transformation in the lives of people around me. But I have not seen the transformation that I desire. Okay, then I'm waiting and wishing for people to be like Jesus. But wait a minute. Jesus is loving people. God is loving people before they transformed into the image of His Son. When He sees people, when He sees me, He sees His Son, meaning He is loving His Son through us. When God loves anybody, He's loving His Son through that person. That's the way I see it. In that sense, that sense, what am I waiting for? How about I receive the love of God, love of the Father, and allow that love to transform me. That's a transformational love of God. Okay, to me, if anybody get transformed through anything but the love of God, that's not a lasting transformation. But that's not even the main highlighted with the yellow highlighted point. The main point is when the Lord loves you, when the Lord loves a thief on the cross or a prostitute, or anyone. He loves everyone in Christ, right? He is loving His Son through you. Most of the time we think He's loving us through His Son. The way I see it, the way I get it is He is loving His Son through us. Then let Him love you, man. Why am I, when I say, let him love you, man, I mean, man, woman, me, you, all of us. Let us allow him to, the father, to love his son through us, through me, through you, in a good day, in a bad day. If you think you're a good boy or a bad boy or a good girl or a bad girl, or you went to church or you didn't, you did this, you did that, allow him to love you. But what you know also, don't say I don't deserve it. He's loving his son. 
through you because now you live and have and move and have your being in his son when the lord blesses you he's blessing his son through you when the lord provides for you he's providing for his son through you when the lord loves you he's he is loving his son through you then let him love you and also know this is a note his love can transform generations his love can transform a nation it's the father loving his son in a whole nation in that sense i say father love your son through iranian people amen <laughs>